Okay, we're going to compute this derivative using implicit differentiation. I think the easiest way to get started on this one is to get rid of this fraction. I don't want to deal with a fraction if I can help it. So what I'm going to get, suggest is to get going, we're going to multiply both sides by this denominator from the left-hand side. So the x plus y squared, x plus y squared on the right-hand side as well. So we've multiplied and we're dividing by the same thing. So therefore that kind of goes away. That makes a 1 really. Now we're left with x squared plus y on the left-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and distribute and say 17x plus 17y squared on the right-hand side. Just taking that 17 to each one of those terms on the inside of our parentheses. From here, let's use our implicit differentiation, differentiate with respect to x. So kind of one term at a time here. Let's first focus on the x squared. Its derivative using the power rule is going to be 2x to the first power. Right, exponent comes down, reduce the exponent by 1. Um, we don't really need a y prime or dy dx next to that because our variable was x. Next, let's move on to the y. Well, its derivative is going to be 1. But this time, because our variable was y, we do want to include a dy dx next to this. Moving on to the right-hand side, derivative of 17x is going to be 17 linear. Um, don't really need a dx over dx. That's the same thing as 1. So we'll move on to the last term over on the right-hand side. Um, power rule says we bring the 2 down. 17 times 2 makes 34. Reduce the exponent by 1. It'll be y to the first power. But we do need a dy dx hanging out next to that because our variable was y that we took the derivative with respect to x with. All right, next up, you'll notice we have a couple terms that have dy dx's with them and a couple terms that don't. So treat this as though it's a linear equation. We want to get all the terms that do have dy dx's on one side and all the terms that don't to the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and move this 17 to the left hand side. And I'm doing this kind of one step at a time. And that's one dy dx still hanging out here. And then on the right hand side we still have that 34y dy dx. All right, my next move is I'm going to get all the dy dx terms over on the right hand side. So I'm going to subtract this one dy dx. Move it over. Minus one dy dx. Okay, so these go away from the left hand side. So we have 2x minus 17, bringing that down is 34y dy dx minus 1 dy dx. I'm trying to show all my work and take my time, not skip through any of these steps. You'll notice that each one of those terms on the right-hand side now has a dy dx. So that's referred to as a common factor. We can say dy dx can be removed or factored out here. If we do so, we're going to be left with 34y minus 1 inside a set of parentheses and 2x minus 17 over on the left-hand side. So what we've created is a situation where we have dy dx multiplied by that big set of parentheses on the right-hand side. So to counteract this multiplication, we simply have to divide both sides by 34y minus 1 on each side. Same factor, numerator and denominator. It's going to make a 1. That'll isolate the dy dx on the right-hand side all by itself. And this is going to be our derivative. So I hope this helps out as you're working on implicit differentiation. Sometimes just rearranging from the beginning makes it an easier problem instead of trying to pull out the quotient rule or more complicated rules such as that.